Welcome to the Five on Five. Tonight I'm joined here by Joanne Feinberg. She's the Director of Programming for the Ashland Independent Film Festival. Thank you so much oh, for joining thanks us. Thanks so much for having me. And it's an exciting time of it year. It is. We're just about three weeks away from opening day at the film festival, our 14th annual, actually. Yeah, so wow. very, very exciting. Lots of preparations underway. Most of the work is done, <laughs> but um, yeah, so and we're looking forward to it. 7,000 people generally come Attend. through your guys' doors, right? That's right. Last year we had over 7,000 people and close to 18,000 tickets distributed. So we're expecting even a bigger year. There's been so much excitement wow. and interest. Yeah. And you said right now you're in the planning stages, you're working up to opening night. Uh, what can people expect this year? They can expect um, a record number of films. We have 98 short feature and documentaries that we're offering in a number of venues. We're showing at the Armory, as we have in the past, the historic Ashland Armory, the Varsity Theater, we're at all five screens, and also we've added the Ashland Street Cinema the past two years, so we're in three different venues around town. Wow, and uh, in Lots. terms of the films themselves, any big films that stick out in your mind? I know you said it's a record number of films. Record number. We have um, a wonderful selection from all over the world. Lots of filmmakers coming into town to be here to do the Q&As after their films. And our special guest this year is the subject of a documentary, so he's not the filmmaker, but Greg Luganis, who is the four-time gold medal Olympic champion in diving. And there's a documentary made about his life called Back on Board. We're showing that in our Armory Theater on Saturday evening of the festival, April 12th, I believe it is. 11th mm -hmm. and um, he'll be present to do the Q&A after the film. He's a wonderful man. His life has been very full of ups and downs and the film documents his amazing journey. Wow okay oh. and um, in terms of you know these directors and uh, Luganus coming. Right. I mean, is, is that a record number two this year of just people coming in and speaking to people? We, we don't have the final numbers yet and it's always up in the air, but yes, I think we'll have very full theaters, Q and A's after most of the screenings, um, including local filmmakers from the Rogue Valley. We have a student film competition, so we have kindergarten through college <laughs> filmmakers that submit their films and the winners of that competition will be screening and be present for the Q&As as well. So big stars wow. and emerging filmmakers as well. So cool. Well, we'll yeah. have much more on the Ashland Independent Film Festival when we return. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Five on Five. Again, I'm joined here by Joanne Feinberg. She's the Director of Programming for the Ashland Independent Film Festival, and it's coming up quick. It is. And it's something a lot of people look forward to. What is so unique? What sets the Ashland Independent Film Festival apart from other film festivals uh, over the course of the year? Well, we have, I, we have one of the most well-known regional film festivals, so we're very... Um, community-based festival and all our venues for the most part are walking distance so it, it just kind of takes over the town and becomes a really wonderful experience for everyone involved. You can stop filmmakers on the street and say hello, um, moviegoers talk to each other online. It's just a, a very friendly and engaging festival and we hear from our filmmakers who come from out of town how much they love the Rogue Valley, that they love the audiences here, that they're very engaged and intelligent, they ask great questions after the Q&As. So um, the theaters are full all the time. I mean there's always tickets available but it's nice to be in a theater that has so much buzz and excitement about the films that we've brought here. Absolutely. I think it's the yes. culture of Southern Oregon. It is. Very arts oriented and, and very, yes, excited and inspiring. Absolutely. And you were talking about the different programs that will be available. We have so many. We have feature documentaries and um, narratives, but we also have a number of short film programs. So we have a great family program for kids five and up. We have a short docs program and we have our Oscar shorts program. So we show a number of the nominees and this year that one of the winners will be coming to town and the filmmaker will be here. That's called Crisis Hotline Veterans Press One. So Saturday at the Armory, um, the director of that film will be in town to speak after the film. Wow. And That's so exciting. a lot to look forward to. Lot so too. many exciting showings and everything. Events. Um, we have talkback panels that are free, parties, the opening night bash and our closing awards celebration. So there's things happening all week right. long. And how long does it last? How many days? And uh, how much does it cost for people? It's uh, a five-day festival. So I said week, but weekend. 
Um, it starts on Thursday, April 9th, and runs through Monday the 13th. On Monday, we do a lot of award screenings, so we have um, our award-winning films play on that day if you didn't get a chance to see them during the other time. And tickets go on sale. Actually, today is our opening day for our high-level members and then continues throughout the week. And on Sunday, tickets go on sale to the general public. If you are not a member, tickets are $13, and we have discounts for seniors and students and other kinds of discounts available as okay, well. Okay, and if anybody wants more information, where can they go? On our website, ashlandfilm.org. We okay. have all the information there and our full program with listings of all the films. Exciting stuff, Joanne. Yeah, thank, thank you so much you. for joining us. Yeah, I hope you'll see you there. Absolutely. Okay, we'll be right care. back.